vlog. I am so excited because I've been working on this one client's tax return for, I don't even know how long it's been. It's been way over what we normally do um, in terms of turnaround time because I literally just kept running to like all these new things, different, I don't want to say circumstances, but, you know, like this is the first year for crypto. So you want to make sure that's reported correctly and you have the supporting documentation so that, you know, you can report it the right way. So I had that. Um, there was some rental stuff. And then they sold the rental stuff. Then he's a business owner. But man, I am so excited. Oh, but I look bright. I look like just light, pure, pure light. Hey. I don't know why I'm so thirsty on the way to the gym. Y'all know what it is. But anyway, I'm just so excited because like the reason I didn't hurry up and give it back to him was because I'm like, dang, he going to owe a lot of money. So whenever you see a client owing a lot of money, your typical response, at least once your experience is, OK, let me try to go do some research. Let me try to pick this apart and make sure like I didn't miss anything or there's nothing fancy or some loophole that I can use. Um, if it's on the basic side, you pretty much know like, hey, when I put this in, like for example, if they made 100K and they have a high net income, okay, you, you pretty much know like, okay, they're gonna owe. But then those, there are those huge numbers where you're like, uh-oh, how am I gonna explain this to the client? So I need to either have my research ready um, and then some of them know, like, yeah, I knew I was going to owe. But some, you got to be ready and have that backup. Like, hey, according to the tax law, this is straight off the IRS website, blah, 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 blah. So at first, I was like, hmm. And then they gave me some new information. So I was like, maybe. Then I saw the exception. So I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. And then they tried to come with another piece. I was like, nope, can't do that. And I just kept digging. And I'm like, dang, I have never done this much research on one tax return and you know not gotten the answer normally when you do research you find the answer but in this case i couldn't and i'm like dang is this gonna be the first one and y'all after all this time i finally found the answer and it's like a super small loophole it's like towards the very bottom of the tax law for that specific topic but i found it so i'm excited um it's the little things when you're a tax preparer and you're an accountant that get you excited. And these are those things, find, finding those little pieces of tax codes. So I'm just thankful because for me, that's growth. You know, you can't run from it. You got to face it. Some people say you got to eat the frog. So this was like the last little piece. So now I just got to figure out like this complicated tax um, calculation. And it's only complicated because I haven't done it before. So I'm going to have to really chop it up. But I'm happy because it's probably going to save them over $10,000 and I'm thrilled. So there's that. Uh, we're on the way to the baby coming. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and have the baby this week. So I guess now we're about to put to the test how the business will run. And I'm not available, um, at least for a couple of days. I'm going to probably have the baby, finish tax season, then take the rest of April off. So we really going to see. Have, Cameron, have you built a business or are you just self-employed? And we've talked about this before. There's a huge difference in that. Self-employed means that if you're not working, you're not making money versus business owner is I'm not working and money is still being made and, and work is still getting completed. So this these next uh, probably 21 days because um, April 18th is the tax deadline. If you didn't know that, make sure you get your taxes in or come see Kenley Accounting. But, you know, these next 18 to 21 days are about to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy ride. Hopefully, I can vlog most of it. But we're going to try to have a baby at the very end of tax season, all while keeping our monthly clients happy and becoming a new dad for the third time. And this is my baby boy. So, you know, this extra special because I've been outnumbered. So, um, 
We got a whole bunch going on. Right now, I'm going to the gym because, you know, you got to try to stay sexy, you know what I'm saying, for your, for your boo. You don't want her to see her. I mean, you don't want her to see you and be like, oh, you know, you want her to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm going to the gym, get this lifting in. Um, plus, you know, even though I got a standing desk, I mean, I still do probably more sitting than I should. So just getting the blood flowing, getting a nice sweat, keeping that cardio, staying strong, all of that. Um, and lastly, y'all, this Will Smith situation really got people showing out. Like, I get it. I wouldn't have necessarily made the same choice. But, I mean, I get it. Hey, if you find a, hey, you, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. So, anywho, that's so interesting. But, anywho, we won't get on to that. Um... The Falcons are still trash. The Hawks may make the playoffs. LeBron injured. They may not make the play-in. I'm, I'm in the fantasy basketball playoffs. I done made it to the second round after my bye week. You know, it's a lot going on. You know, I'm thinking of revamping some stuff to, I, to offer an even higher quality level of service. So... You know, it's really real. But anywho, y'all, I'm finna pull up to the gym. Thank y'all for checking this out. Hopefully y'all are gaining some motivation, some some insight from this. Don't give up. Just because it gets hard, don't just throw in the towel. Maybe push it away, come back to it a day or two or a week later. Uh, make sure you have some mentors that can kind of push you and challenge you to, to develop good habits. Um, Cause see my mentor, she is the queen of. Mm, did you go look it up? Well, what does tax law say? What does your research say? Before she'll even tell me an answer, she she may say it's wrong, but she most deaf gonna be like, mm, that's wrong. You need to go look that up. So you know, getting in the habit of doing that and being challenged and being pushed, knowing that like, wow, I don't know so much. Like you, that's what taxes and, and the complicated accounting will do. It will have you literally like, I thought I knew something and I just found out today that I don't know like three things. Like for real, for real. Like I thought I was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But uh, clearly it's a no. But anywho, eyes at the gym. It's time for me to go get it. I'll check in with y'all later. Peace. Oh, wait. Let me wait till I park. I be making all kind of noises when I be parking sometimes, y'all. I'm sorry. See, my wife gonna be proud because she gonna be like, yeah, you better not touch that phone while you driving him. Vlog, what it do? Just checking in. Um, today is April the 1st which means we are officially in that last go-home stretch for tax season where it gets so crucial. Like, I wish I could explain to y'all how crucial it is. Like, there are literally people who will send me an email today and be like, yo, I know I'm late, but I just want to see if I can go ahead and get started on my taxes. And, you know, it's normal to be like, bruh, or sis. Really? But, you know, that's the name of the game. Um, and it just is what it is. So, you know, that's, we're preparing for that. Hold on, y'all. I got to get this big old, what I think you call it a birthing pillow. That what y'all see. Uh, you know, when your wife pregnant, they like that. Or at least mine do. Somebody be helping with the positioning and all that. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's the first. Um, today would most definitely be a day where my dad would be playing <laughs> Bone Thugs. It's the first of the month. Because you know that's that is the first. And you know it goes down on the first. So, um, 
yeah, it's just time to grind. Um, the baby is probably going to come this weekend. Um, if I had to pick, I mean, not pick. Um, the babies, let's just say the baby on this book. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm doing like 50 things at once. But yeah, the baby's on its way. So literally any day now, the baby can come. So, you know, we already knew that was going to happen in tax season. So, um, that's going to go down. I'm doing so much stuff right now, y'all. Um, I'll be working late, so um, I have to unplug my lap repeat. I'll be having to undo my laptop to take it downstairs to my little setup I got downstairs so that the wife can go to sleep. And then in the morning, of course, you got to bring it all back upstairs, reset it back up. Um, but anywho, but yeah, so the baby coming. So that's about to be crazy. Because my guess is I'm about to be out for probably two or three days. Because um, there's a good chance that I may not touch the laptop while I'm at the hospital. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's two or three days where you know how we talk about all the time. Did you build a business or... Are you self-employed? Well, we finna test that theory because, you yeah, know, two or three days in tax season, whew, that's going to be nasty, but it's doable, and I know I got the system to run. Um, no, a system can't do a tax return for you, but I'm saying in regards to intake, all of that, we got that set up. Also... You know, we're going to make it because of these bangs. You know, bangs, man. You got to drink more so you can be focused. You feel me? You got to be focused. But, um, yeah, I'm just checking in with y'all because it's going to get crucial. Like, my guess is I'm going to try to do vlogs, like, every single day. So that way we can kind of piece them together. But just know, like, it's going to be crazy. And then, oh, and don't forget, today is month in. So, you know, we try our best on this month to still hit the 10 business day mark for our clients. But um, trying to hit that for all the clients, plus hit the tax season deadline, plus not do as many extensions, plus having this newborn baby. It's going to be crucial. So y'all just just pray for your boy. I mean, we can't leave account it up. You know what I'm saying? We can't leave accounting up. You feel me? We got the merch on. So we today's going to be good. You know, Fridays, you got to finish strong. Because it's the end of the week. You headed to the weekend. You feel me? So y'all just keep your boy in your prayers. I'm going to try to bring y'all along on this little journey. You know what I'm saying? And we're going we gonna to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get this bread. You feel me? We're going we gonna to take off some time at the end of the month to get adjusted to what it's like to have a, a baby again. And, you know, we're going to do our thing.